I'm Julia Beaumont-Jones and I manage the museum's art collection, which spans the period of around 1912 to date. I curate art exhibitions, including this one. Cyril Power's lino cut print of a biplane dogfight recalls his First World War service in the Royal Flying Corps, where he supervised aircraft repairs at Lim Aerodrome in Kent. In the war, he made a loose pencil sketch of a dogfight, and years later, in 1935, amid the rapid expansion of military aviation, he developed his sketch into a fully-fledged design for a vibrant print, which he auditioned for sale. Before the war, he practised as an architect, but after, he retrained as an artist, studying at the Grosvenor School of Modern Art, which led a modernist movement in lino-cut printing. Colour and rhythm defined the aesthetic of the school, and the art movements of futurism and vorticism influenced its celebration of speed in the machine age. Power printed Air Raid from four pieces of linoleum, or lino blocks in printmaking terms. He inked each block with a single colour, red, light blue, grey, and dark blue. The resulting print is an exciting, swirling, whooshing vision of movement and speed, with coloured lines representing contrails in the sky, in all directions, and, on the left, the billowing smoke of a hit enemy aircraft. Although inscribed as number four of an edition of 60, print dealers and curators know that actually few impressions of Air Raid exist today. What happened to them? Were, were some of them lost? Did Cyril Power not make as many as he hoped? Well, we can only guess, but incredibly, our founder director, Dr. John Tanner, acquired not one, but two impressions of Air Raid from the Parkin Gallery in the 1970s. So it's him we have to thank for the visual pleasure this iconic print gives us today.